Armstrong and Getty show. Can you, uh, Dominic, can you explain uh, what's going on or what happened? Oh, I think we're good. Okay. I think we're okay. good. Just uh, it's about, about 10 minutes ago or so, Dominic comes in here and he says, got a guy on the line from Afghanistan. Wants to tell us about what's going on with the war. He's a big fan of the show. Awesome. Yeah, well, yeah I know, Ben. Uh, Tim the Lawyer coming up, by the way, right after 7 o'clock news. That should be good. But right now it's uh, Ben from Afghanistan. Hey, Ben, how are you? Uh, doing okay. Here, let me uh, pick up. Not to what's, speaker phone. what's new Sorry in that, that. rock-strewn um, hellhole? I just got in from a mission. Basically, I just uh, hey Mike, stay stay tight on the uh, uh, on the dump button. I'm kind of uh, kind of upset. And uh, just a second. Uh, just got in from a mission. We uh, we were out taking care of projects as we do, and uh, got in a, a firefight. Three KIA, five WIA this afternoon about four three thirty my time, which was a bit, which would be about three o'clock your time. I just wanted to remind America people to listen to your show. There's a war going on over here. People are dying. Their children are getting killed. Their their nieces, their nephews, and no one remembers it. The two candidates who are most popular in the polls are both pro war who are going to keep us in these godforsaken sand countries forever, have no intention of ever leaving, and you're going to send young men and women over here to get killed and wounded who are going to be coming home and who are going to be another where they would have been productive adults. They very well may be crippled and paralyzed. Or emotionally damaged. I'm, I are, yes, that too, that too. How many people do you think uh, sh in Afghanistan, other soldiers, share your sentiment? Uh, 100%. No, no. They, the people in Kabul do not know what Afghanistan is like. The people who live, the generals, the colonels, the majors who make the decisions, who give the advice, have never been to Afghanistan. They've been to Kabul. Being to Kabul is like going to L.A. and saying you know what all of California is like. You don't know anything. You know what Los Angeles Airport is like if you're from Kabul. You know what it's like to be around a bunch of people who are fairly educated, who are erudite, and who are not uh, – born-again Muslims who think the only, the only important thing in life is to kill infidels. As we left the site after the attack, most of the little boys stood on the side of the road and threw rocks at our vehicles. They hate us. They want us out of here. Our job should be to pack up and come home. And I tell you, I don't know of one officer that I talk to who, are, who is educated and worldly who thinks that we're going to win or this is a productive uh, effort. I don't know of one soldier who barely has a high school education who thinks this is productive. There's, it, it spans the spectrum. No one engaged in this sees a positive outcome. I don't know what we're doing over here. I really don't. Ben is on the line from Afghanistan. Ben, just to clarify, you had three killed in action and three wounded in action. Are those your guys or uh, Afghans you're working with or both or what? No. No, they were Americans. It was, I can't tell you the unit. The right. families have not been notified. Right. Uh, they are an East Coast unit. No one's going to, uh, hopefully no one in their family is going to hear this, but it, it's, a, it's a unit that I go out with. That's, all right, yeah, that's, that's enough. All, that's and, enough. And, as far as I'm going to go. And in this patrol in which your friends got killed, what were you in theory supposed to be accomplishing? Uh, we had gone to one of my sites that is almost complete. You guys know what I do. I build police stations and roads right. and, uh, uh, did a final inspection on it. And we got in the truck and went down to the bazaar area and got out and was doing a, a foot patrol. Um, the, uh, foot patrol is a suicide bomber hit us. And then we got hit with direct, direct fire. Well, <sighs> If it's of any help, I'm ranting and raving on a regular basis about the fact that nobody pays any attention and that both presidential candidates are trying to get to the right of each other, being more gung-ho for this thing, uh, just for political reasons, as far as I can tell, because I don't believe either one of them think we're accomplishing anything. 
Um, it pisses me off. Yeah. It drives me nuts that the, the anti-war demonstrators aren't out in full force like they were before or that the media doesn't cover it because they don't want to cover anti-war with a Democrat in the White House. It drives me freaking crazy. All right. Well, and I don't know what's going to happen because without without some sort of pressure from below, the people up above are going to continue. This is a big money-making scam for a lot of their contributors. And, you know, other than a jobs program to keep people out of the United States so they're not unemployed and to make to, to make uh, uh, suppliers of military hardware and, and equipment and, and building materials over here, Rich, I don't know what we're doing here. I really don't. You know, any I don't either. Any I, serious study of the empire is a history, Ben, will tell you that guys like you in the outer outposts of an, uh, an empire spend a lot of time saying, what the hell are we doing here? What good is this doing for the people of the empire back home? And God dang it, I wish people were paying more attention, but covered that all right ben God dang it stay in touch would you yeah sorry for your losses i mean i know yeah. how inadequate and pathetic that is but we really are and, and it's good to hear from you all right yeah i'll be home july 18th so all right that's well, this is my last tour over here if, i'm if, done when you get back and if, if you if you want to come on we'll, we'll talk to you for a dang hour all righty i'll give you guys a call all right ben Thanks. stay safe best you can buddy